right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Sai, Ba'ashim, Wachakudash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who taught us this truth through the spirit of power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Sai, and do who will be great examples unto us younger brothers today. Let's peace, love, blessings, and many salutations unto the election and you sincere believers out there in general, all right, that are calling on the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and fulfilling your lots in all truth and sincerity. May the call of election be upon your household, all right, and the Lord and this quickened trans will be edifying. And, you know, I'm just now on my way uh, back home from, you know, the Tuesday camp. You know, I was able to make it out today, and, um, you know, just kind of meditating on the way home. You know, sometimes I'll play music, sometimes I'll listen to videos and lessons. But a lot of time, man, I'll just, I'll use this these drives, you know, because you know, Dallas is a little ways from where I live, but, you know, I'll use these drives as an opportunity to meditate, all right? And what I was meditating on pretty much going into, uh, it just popped into my head through the spirit, you know, and I forget exactly where I heard it before, um, I don't think it's actually scriptural, but it's something, you know, it's a good thing to, to uh, you know, uh, think about, okay, because, you know, it talks about what, basically that procrastination is the devil's playground, okay, and that's why brothers and the elders, you know, and the apostles even, you know, I've heard many, many uh, brothers in the faith you know, from up high to on down, you know, say that strike while the iron is hot, man. All right, and that's pretty much what prompted me to do this lesson, just because you don't want to put off from day to day. The scriptures even talks about that, you know, put not off from day to day, all right, because I want to say that's in the Sirach, the fifth chapter, you know, because, hey, Ephesians, the fifth chapter, what does it say? See then that they walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. Because the days are evil and we're in those evil days and we need to be redeeming the time all right time management is, is crucial all right time management uh, you know having a set schedule a regimen all right a routine is is um, crucial man it's crucial that you stay in the spirit to the best of your ability man and strike while the iron is hot all right will you know allow you to do that if the lord puts something on your spirit you know, and you have the, the opportunity, I get if you're at work, you know, sometimes you're at work, you stop what you're doing, you, you know, title for the lesson may, may come to your head instantly, you know, uh, a bunch of precepts start flowing, hey, you put them in your phone real quick and then you get back to work, you're like, man, I can't wait to do this lesson later, you know, because it's on your spirit to do so now, do so then, but even then the Lord might have it to where you go into something else, <laughs> you know, it's all the spirit at the end of the day, but pretty much, you know, if you have the opportunity, if you're off, all right, if you're not, if you don't have anything to do that's of importance, you know, like I have to take care of it right now, I can put it off for 30 minutes, hey, strike while the iron is hot, man, put not off from day to day, all right, because, you know, in that scripture, in Sirach 5, it's really going into, uh, you know, sinners, all right, it says, uh, add not sin unto sin, you know, for the, for wrath and mercy come from the heavenly Father. You know, it's put off not from day to day because, in, you know, in your uh, in your leisure, basically, in a you know, uh, loosely paraphrasing it, basically, in your leisure, the Lord will come upon you. All right, in your comfort when you when you least expect it. <laughs> you see, but I mean, understanding, you know, that the procrastination is may not necessarily be a sin. But the scripture says that to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, or to, you know, basically you know better, you do better, all right? It says unto him, it is sin, man, you know, so we can't put off, all right, when the Spirit's tapping us on the shoulder, like, hey, man, we need to do this, you need to do that, you need to read, you know, it don't even have to be just a lesson, but, you know, it's important that we, you know, because procrastination will allow, like, like, it's like I opened up with the, the I guess the quote, Procrastination is the devil's playground, you know. It's the spiritual demon Satan, see, the spirit is like it. The spiritual demon Satan, all right, like Yahweh Shai told Peter, desires to sift you, man. All right, and as we come more into these 
these these perilous times as we come more into uh, the height of um, you know wickedness and perverseness here on the earth you know best believe those spirits will be trying to sift you man will be trying to uh, you know take you out of the way man all right take you away from uh, receiving that that uh, that crown man that's why Yahweh Shai said hold uh, hold uh, Revelation the third chapter if I'm not mistaken all right let no man take thy crown you see so under any circumstance we're not supposed to allow you know uh, we're not supposed to be overcome man we're, we're supposed to overcome as our Lord did okay and it starts right now man this is you know I remember the brother Mike Allah the elder Mike Allah out here in Dallas man he you know one time and it stuck with me that this is boot camp man he's you know he said one time at the camp and it's just stuck with me this is basically boot camp when we off the highways, all right, when, when, when the famine is hitting, when all the, you know, the, the destruction and the, the uh, perils that the scriptures uh, speaks on is actually coming to pass because, you know, right now we're in that time period where we're entering into those times, all right, the beginning of sorrows, right, like Yahweh Shai spoke about in Matthew 24. This is just boot camp, all right, when those things actually hit. It's going to be go time, man. It's not going to be no pre preparation. You need to be ready, man. All right? And I speak for myself first and foremost, man. As a younger brother in the truth, I'll admit, man, I make, I make many mistakes. You know, I fall short a lot, okay? And all have fallen short of the grace of Yahweh Bashim Shai. But the thing is, we progressively get better, man. All right? You have to tweak. You have to adjust. And you have to maneuver around the obstacles. You have to be able to overcome man all right you have to overcome all right and procrastination basically you know allows you to be open to spiritual attacks man all right when you'll be weakened and you know there's a chance you know like we have examples in the past of people falling out man and we don't want that i don't want that for me i don't want that for you brothers that are in this thing diligently man and it's just a quick message really but just don't procrastinate you know strike while the iron is hot and um you know glorify y'all by seeing y'all shy at the end of the day man so you know like i said just a quick in transit i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh by shim yahweh shy by shim or hakadash the honors unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone peace blessings and many salutations unto the akim all right out there of that hopeful number man keep fighting keep enduring and uh Let's get it, man. Shut up.